What's up everyone? I have two new materials for you, or actually one material, but two colors. So um, Type A Machines uh, sent me over these two materials because I, I was really curious about the pro matte uh, materials. So this is a um, PLA based material, uh, or it's actually just branded as a pro matte. So I have two spools here, 500 grams each, uh, one black and one white. So the uh, special thing here with this uh, materials, quite easy packaging, not more than that, um, is that they have a Ziploc bag, really nice. They have a matte finish, so they're really good for architects or designers that want to have a finished surface. So the idea is that most materials are pretty shiny, especially easy printed materials like PLA. So you get these glossy surfaces that reflect a lot of light. And a lot of special architects and designers want to have a matte surface so it doesn't reflect anything. You can study the shape or just create a designer object for that. So let's just look at these two here. So I have one white and one uh, black. So the finish here is, um, the white here is a little bit creamy. It's uh, almost like milk, but, but no, more like butter actually. It's, it's a little bit yellow hint. I'm not sure if that's what they call bone white, mm, maybe maybe so. Um, but the finish here looks almost like a, a wooden material, so it's really, really uh, matte, doesn't have any uh, shininess into it at all. So that will be really interesting to see how, how easy it is to use and how it performs and how the result looks. And I'm gonna play around a little bit if you can do some sort of um, uh, a nice looking finish here. I can see the black material is a little bit more uh, shiny, but that could also be just um, uh, the, the uh, optical illusion here of white where I don't see the reflections and black where I see them. So interesting, I'll uh, start printing with these and see what we can come up with. Oh, and I forgot to mention these are uh, a collaboration with um, uh, Polymaker. Hmm. The spool here actually, some of the outer layers are a little bit brittle. Oh, now it's better, but this one just snapped off. It was probably the one connected here to this port, so uh, note to self, don't bend this a lot in the guide tubes. Interesting, let's, uh, let's go printing. This is one of my first prints and I want to show you that I had some issues with getting it to stick and also some issues with string as you can see. So uh, totally new material, first try. I got a lot of warping as you can see and a lot of stringing but uh, I'm still going to show this because most of the surfaces are totally okay and with a, uh, with a small knife you can remove that string really really easy.
So that's it for the Type A materials, uh, the Pro mats. So I think the result is really good, but as I said before, there is a little bit of stringing and it's up to you to fix that with your machine and your temperatures especially. So you can play around with uh, temperatures and cooling if you have that. I would not recommend, and actually Type A machines do not recommend that you use too strong of a retraction because that will, won't reduce the, the stringing overall. But it's actually quite easy to remove the stringing. Uh, all you need is a small knife because the stringing is really, it's not that attached. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem. So uh, this one here is also really cool. I just sandpapered it a little bit and it's really, uh, the, the color and the, the surface that you get from that is, is really cool. So overall, I'm really happy with the material. It's uh, more or less that kind of beautifulness and that kind of smoothness, almost like sandstone. It's, it's what I want from a material like this. So it's perfect for ornaments, for designs at home, or just visual attractive models like buildings and, and skeletons and bone and everything like that. So the surface is really smooth. The, um, uh, the colors are good and the shininess is perfect more or less. On the black one, it's a little bit more um, inferring. It's almost like carbon fiber where you have um, a little bit of shine within the material, but the white one is really beautiful. So I totally recommend this if you wanna have some visually attractive models, more or less neutral. And I would love if a type A machine introduced a new, maybe uh, a gray color or something like that, um, which I think would be, go really well to the black and whites. So a uh, nice job and uh, see you guys soon.